my wonderful people good afternoon to you wonderful wonderful people all right so i bought the observer today's observer um because i wanted to get some sort of an understanding of what took place at the people's national parties conference last well it was in the morning so and it finished i suppose sometime in the afternoon and two uh well-known people attended and um and you know when i say that i'm de definitively singling out you know two of the people one even more than the other you had uh, uh what is his name richard Corey, chief of the Akampong maroons as well as uh, adija Palmer, adija palmer otherwise known as uh, vibes cartel all right I must state that one of the things I personally believe in is always second chances. You know, always give people, you know, God gives us second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, ninth, ten. I mean, humans, they don't even give you a first chance, much, much, even much more second. You know, but I believe in that, especially if the person is willing to change for the better and all of that. In, and as I've um, posted in some of my videos, I have no clue about Vibes Cartel more than his, he's a dance hall artist local and international and his songs are loved all over the world by many in in the eyes of many or in the minds of many he's considered the best dance dance hall artist to ever hit the world you know some may say one of the greatest dance hall artists to ever be a part of the human race he's a fantastic lyricist um whether you like him yes or no you know, I'm going to just present the facts to you. <laughs> you know, it has nothing to do with liking him. It is, it has to do with facts. And, uh, but I, I want to speak on something that I read in the, in the news article that a little bit is concerning. And it says, you know, I think it was the, um, the quarry had said, is quarry, right. Now that cartel is here, the PNP supporters will push out and vote. I feel so a hundred percent. What if he was not here? Is it that then it therefore will give the impression that the PNP supporters are not united and harmonious? Because you have to wait until Vibes Cartel attended or come? Because he was used as proxy, as the showman, you know, to, to what, lift people's spirit, to give them hope. I mean, I can understand because if you look at the whole sa uh, saga of his uh, tenure, <laughs> in the in the prison system you know you know you had some unseeming thing processes going through and all of that you know it was said that his trial was not fair it was unjust even though even if he had committed an unjust act so two unjust don't make just or justice if you understand what i'm saying let us say hypothetically because i cannot say if he has done the crime he's been accused of yes or no i can only just speak on what is promulgated in the media but my concern is that you know if they feel th that he will pull out the voters it therefore means that the party is sort of wavering wishy-washy and not on solid ground and the reason for that you know because i mean you know why would you one bring him in the first place knowing that he's a talk of the tone he has always been the talk of the tone to be honest with you you know he's just one of those people you remember i don't want to say remind me of Derek morgan and i'm talking TikTok Derek morgan in other words Derek morgan i consider timeless that man just cannot steal him amari uh i don't even know who else to call those two just like i haven't seen amari in a while they can't them just can't steal them is a first set up the icy cannot steal I can't steal. When I heard the man say Nikki Semaj, I said, no, this is crazy. So, you know, Golden challenges the PM to call general elections and urges Jamaicans to choose change. I dare you. All right, I have no problems with that. I mean, they have been, they have not been in the wilderness a long time. You remember the 18 years that JLP was in the wilderness. My concern is that I don't want a case where you're desperate to go in at all costs. And I say that to say this. Let us say it was the Jamaica Labour Party that had their conference. And let us say, hypothetically, Vibes Cartel supported the ideologies and the, the, the practices or the principles of the Jamaica Labour Party. And he went to their conference. People, let us be honest. Lord, and, and many of you already do not like the Prime Minister. When you're not done, class him up, down, all around. 
and say how oh, this man is housing and hosting and using criminal and you know you would do it so you know it's 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 ironic how we are so biased when we like somebody and when we don't like somebody so for example you if you like somebody and you see them breaking into somebody's car and stealing you're going to say maybe him hungry and maybe he thought it was his car if you don't like the person i can bet you the other cars that were stolen and the other he was the one who broke you see the difference that i'm talking same crime committed maybe the motive for the one that you like was even worse maybe he just was just greedy the other one probably is going through you know a difficult situation and trying to do a peter pan effect steal from the rich to give to the poor i have no problems where vibes cartel is concerned let me add that because i you know people they don't reason well and when you hear a post you think people are hitting out against people i'm not doing that i'm just saying that i hope that people look at it from um, a, a, a sort of multifaceted way it, uh, one, if the quarry is saying that, you know, they will now come out, come out to vote, the PNP supporters, that speaks to a problem in the country because you should not be waiting on a dance hall artist. It has nothing to do with vibes. It could be, you could choose another dance hall artist. You could choose a foreign singer. You could, you know, to cause you to vote. And as far as I know, I can understand if you are a change maker, transform, a sort of transformed agent in the sense of a Martin Luther King who charted causes. You saw that consistency for, with him. I can understand in a case like that or a, or a Mahatma Gandhi or a Mother Teresa, you know, and not to say that they were, you know, perfect people, but you understand what I mean. You know what their causes were about, you know what their movement was about, you know what their messages were about. You know, on a consistent day-to-day -day basis, he really is an artist. He promotes artistic, uh, dynamic music, you know. Um, so, I, and, uh, I'm just a little bit concerned by that comment. Um, you know, Golden challenges the PM to call general election and urges Jamaicans to choose change. Um, change is always good. I'm, I'm not going to negate that but it makes no sense i hope it is not a call for change because you desperately want to get in you want to be on the winning side the ruling side because finally i mean we are rule again we are rule again sort of a thing as opposed to sorry i really want to help the jamaican people because i think jamaicans have gone through this we're the two fighting for power over the many years we're tired of it i just hope it's a case like that you know because we don't want a case where it says no better herring, no better barrel. Because please note the People's National Party and members. If you should get in and you suck from the first 100 days and you keep none of your promises from the time you have been speaking since 2016, was it? Until present. You better believe you, you probably would not be able to last the five years that you're allowed in the position because jamaicans are not having it it's almost like they may say may as well we stick with the evil that we know so i don't want it to be you you're daring him to call election to prove a point or to say well well I'll get it because the reality is you can dare him and he calls it and you end up still being in the wilderness that's a it's a possibility it's a possibility that you can still end up in the wilderness because Jamaicans are very dynamic, multidimensional people, to say the least, or to say it in a wonderful way. They will smile in your faces, but behind your backs, they see the daggers are coming. I was reading in, I'm in the book of Jeremiah, and when I read it, you know, I was reading the Good News Translation when it says that people smile with you, but they're throwing daggers, and he was saying, no one is your friend. They all slander. They speak ill of you. So sometimes you see these people coming and they're saying this and that. At that time they know that when the day comes, it is somewhere else they're voting. It's because, you know, we have political tribal war and people, you know, they're, they're linked with this person. So they're forced to vote for this one versus that one versus the other one. So we have to, I pray that humility will be the order of the day. As I said, I have some concerns. Um, what do I say? I mean, it sounds like, you know, the usual things that you will hear from politicians, some, some of the things we, we student loan, growth promise, and so on. But, you know, what is to be will certainly be. 
who will win will certainly win guys you know what to do retiktok and youtube have a fantastic day stay blessed